chronic back pain, okay? It's like constant pain. So is it mainly in your back right now? Than anything all else? Over all over your body. Okay, on a scale from zero to 10, what would you give your pain right now? Beyond 10. Beyond 10, okay. Come Holy Spirit. You're gonna start feeling a tingling presence just come on your body as a sign of the Lord's healing you right yes, now. Lord. You feel that? Amen. Yeah, yes. come Holy Spirit, I bless that in Jesus' yes, name. Lord. Receive his love right there. He's gonna go real deep. More. Yeah, there it is. More Holy Spirit. Let it come. Oh, we just set her free from all that torment, all that pain in Jesus' name. God, I think you have a, a future for her, Lord. And Lord, it's, it's a future without pain. It's a future without torment. Yeah, come Holy Spirit. It's gonna come stronger right now. Pour it, Holy Spirit, right there. Just increase it, right there, more. Let it come. Let it come. Yeah, let your love overshadow it now. Jesus, yeah, yeah, he's just touching you. He's just loving on you. He's just taking all of that stuff. He's taking all that stuff out, all that pain, both physically and emotionally. He's just taking that stuff. He's setting you free right now. What's going on with you? Where's the pain at? It's gone. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, huh? How long have you been under that pain? 16 years old and I'm 34 now. 16 and you're 34. Have you ever had pain just leave like that? No. And you know what that was? That was Jesus, because Jesus loves you so much. He really does. And not only has he set you free from just the pain, it's just the, the trauma of having that, the sleepless nights, just the depression, the fear. Nobody ever understood yeah. the pain I was going through, yeah. doctors. No. Nobody. Nobody. It's like no one was hearing me. Yeah. No one understood yeah. my yeah. pain. Yeah. Came out even my own family. Yeah. Wow. So oh no pain. God. No pain. No pain. For the first time. For the first time since <gasps> you're 16 years old and you're 34 now <laughs> and there's no pain. No. And what did it feel like? I saw a shaking oh, come over well, you. Yeah. I definitely felt his presence. <laughs> We were here for you. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> the mission of the church is really to be Jesus, be like Jesus on earth. It's to represent him, which basically means to represent Jesus. What was he like? He loved people. It's amazing because God just touched your body and he touched your heart and he just loves you. And he, heard, he really heard your prayer, and that's all he wants you to know. I see her blaming herself a lot for what happened to her son. But I hear God so clearly saying, I see your heart. Just put your hands out like this, like you're going to receive a gift, and just say, Jesus, I want to experience your presence. Whoa. <laughs> that's crazy, right? <laughs> what are you feeling? The Bible says, uh, earnestly desire spiritual gifts. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Earnestly desire spiritual gifts, especially that you would prophesy. You know, when God prophesies to you, He's saying, this is how you're known in heaven. This is how we see you. This is what we've called you to do. This is who we've called you to be. I just pray that the love of Jesus in the most tangible way would rain down on you and that you'd know it's okay to cry and it's okay to say, God, this just freaking sucks. My focus isn't who do I see, my focus is how can I abide here and touch whoever it is he's wanting to affect. Things that don't even make sense happen to you on why you're financially it's, it's struggling. True. It's actually true. Yeah. If we make a mistake, even as Christians, I'd rather make a mistake doing good than doing nothing. Prophecy is seeing what God sees and saying what God says. And that helps us to live from the right perspective. Have you ever had pain just leave like that? No. And you know what that was? That was Jesus, because Jesus loves you so much. 
we'll, we'll go through a drive through someone gets healed, and I'm like, guys, you just see what Jesus did? And they're like, yeah, Dad, that's awesome, but we see it all the time. This history will tell us if you believe God. My name's Jason, I came from California, and I want to tell you about a quick love story. 